Señor, de palabra por el poder, por el poder del Espíritu Santo, que sea el que abra nuestro entendimiento, nuestra sabiduría, para poder asimilar cada día más de tu grandeza y tu divinidad y tu pureza, Padre Santo, te pedimos, oh Padre del Cielo, para que tú seas el hermano Juan con un conducto, Señor, para que hable directamente a nuestra vida, Padre Santo, Señor, dale sabiduría, dale conocimiento, Dios, tómalo en tus manos, Espíritu Santo, para que seas tú el que le ponga palabras en tu boca, Padre Santo, y que seas tú, Señor, el que lo diga en este mensaje, Padre Santo, te pedimos, te suplicamos, para que le arreglo, por medio de arreglo, que hable, Padre Santo, pueda llegar tu palabra, todo el corazón, tu cuidado, que tu presencia, Padre Santo, Santo, de arriba, toda la manera, todo el taco, todo el inteligente, para que aquel que esté pasando por momentos difíciles de discriminación pueda alcanzar la oportunidad para decir lo que tu santa misma palabra pueda llegar a su corazón Padre del cielo tu palabra de arriba toda la que Padre Santo, creemos, Padre, la gloria que tu palabra es verdadera. Tu palabra, el Señor, tiene fundamento, Padre bendito, y tu palabra es real, Señor, Padre de la gloria. Por eso es muy importante que tu mensaje llegue al corazón del Señor, de tu presencia, porque pedimos que este mensaje sea de palabra, la mujer, el Espíritu Santo, el Señor, el Salvador de todas las cosas, tanto del Padre como del Hijo, Padre de la gloria, que la de tal manera, Padre Santo, que tú eres el Hijo, nosotros éramos y éramos completamente ilusos. Ignorante, Let us speak truth to the hearts of the people. Let us be encouraged que ahora tenemos en nuestro corazón para that you are the one that knows what happens in our lives. That you are the record keeper. That you put our tears in your bottle. That you hold our record in your book, oh God. Jesus. Amen. 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 Our life is full of records. We have a record when we were born. We have a record of when we got our shots, right? Our visits to the doctor. When we go to school, they keep records. The police even have a record of you if you've ever been in trouble. If you ever been in the military, they have a record of it. You see, whether you realize it or not, brothers and sisters, everybody keeps records not only here, but the Bible says in Job 16, verse 19, also now, behold, my witness is in heaven, and my record is on high. Amen? Nuestro testimonio, hermanos. Mucha gente, este, gobernantes, tienen nuestro testimonio. Tienen nuestro registro. Tienen re, nuestro registro de, de nacimiento. Tienen registro eh, cuando vamos al doctor. Tenemos el, de, de, tienen un registro cuando vamos a la, a la escuela. Y también hay registro en la policía si, si, has, este, si, si has involucrado en, en problemas. Aunque de la cuenta o no, hermanos, todos tienen, en esta tierra, tienen un registro de cada nosotros. Y la Biblia también dice en, en Job 16, 9, que nuestro registro está en los cielos. That our record is on high, right? In the heavenlies, God keeps record. You see, God is keeping a record on you and me. In fact, Over in Proverbs 15, verse 3, the Bible says the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Amen. Sin embargo, hermanos, la Biblia dice en Proverbios 15, 3, que los ojos de Dios están sobre todos los lugares, viendo lo malo y lo bueno. Amen. You see, God knows what we do and everywhere we go what we say and it may seem like no one is around you may be by yourself but God is there 
And he's keeping the record. Amen. Puede ser que está solo, hermanos. Pero Dios está ahí y él está teniendo, poniendo cuentas en su registro lo que estás haciendo afuera de los ojos de otra gente. This morning, we may think we're getting by when we miss church. We may think we're getting by when we say no to the wooing and the drawing of the Holy Spirit. Amen? When we rob God of our tithes and our offerings. But God is keeping all of this on the record. Amen? The Bible says my record is on high. La Biblia dice que mi registro está en los cielos. Amen. No importa qué es lo que estás haciendo, Dios tiene el registro. Él sabe lo que cada uno de nosotros estamos haciendo y diciendo y, y haciendo, hermanos. God keeps all of that on record. In Psalms 56, verse 8, it says, Thou tellest my wanderings, put down my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in that book? Don't you keep record, God? In Salmo 56, versículo 8, hay otro ejemplo donde, donde, donde Dios este, guarda nuestro registro. Señor, tú pones, tú, tú sabes lo que estoy haciendo, tú pones mis llantos en, en una botella, que no está también en tu libro, que no tienes grabado lo que yo estoy pasando en el libro. Don't you have that recorded in that book? Amen? You see, God knows every tear that you ever shed. Dios conoce cada llanto que has, cada lágrima que has llantado, hermanos. Cada llanto, Él lo conoce. Every tear, He knows. Amen? He knows. Hallelujah! He knows. Whether they were tears of joy, or tears of sorrow, or grief, or maybe even a hurt over a lost loved one, God knows. Yo sabe. And he puts them all in his book. Yo lo pone todo en el libro. God is keeping record. And one day we will stand, all of us will stand before him and view that record. Amen. The Bible says in Romans verse four, chapter 14, verse 11 through 12, for it is written in Romanos, la Biblia dice en 14, versículo 11 y 12, está escrito, it is written, as I live, como yo vivo, saith the Lord. Every knee shall bow to me. Cada rodilla se, se, se arrodilla ante mí. Every tongue shall confess to God. All of us will have to give account. All of us will have to confess to God. Amen. Cada uno vamos a tener que confesar ante Dios, ante el juez todo poderoso. So that every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Amen. There's no escaping it. All I know is that when I stand before God, amen, there are some things that I want to see on my record. Amen. Amen. Number one. Cuando yo estoy parado antes del juez, hay ciertas cosas que yo quiero ver en mi registro, hermanos, en este libro. Number one. Am I saved? Número uno, ¿soy salvo? I didn't say joined a church or got baptized or went through some ritual. I want to see that my name is recorded on the book of Lambs, on the Lambs book of life. Yo no estoy diciendo que, que yo me hice miembro de una iglesia o fue bautizado o pasé por un ritual, hermanos. Yo quiero saber si mi nombre está escrito en el libro de Jesucristo. 
En el libro de la vida. Is your name written in the book in the Lamb's book of life? That's what I'm what, that's what I'm concerned about. Eso es lo que yo me preocupo, hermanos. Si mi nombre está escrito en el libro de Dios. Amen. And the only way that you and I will ever see that is if you or I have trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Amen? In John 14, verse 6, Jesus himself said, and Juan 14, 6, Jesús mismo el dijo, I am the way, and I am the truth, and I am the life. He says, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Yo soy la manera, yo soy la verdad y yo soy la vida. Nadie viene al Padre por medio yo. Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 4 verse 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other. Amen. Salvation doesn't come from your pastor. Salvation doesn't come from anyone else. Right? Look what it says. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus. Jesus. The name above all names. Who all knees shall bow and confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. The name above all names. That is the only name under heaven and on earth and the whole universe that we must be saved. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Titus chapter 3 verse 5 says, Not by works, amen, of righteousness, which we have done. Our own works is not going to save us. Our good deeds, if we don't have Christ in our lives, will not save us. Amen. No por obras. No por buenas obras que nosotros hemos hecho, hermanos, no nos va a salvar. No importa si hemos dado dinero a, 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 al, al pobre, hermanos. Eso no los va a salvar si no tenemos a Jesucristo adentro de su corazón. Amen. It says, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. Amen. Pero por medio de su misericordia, él los salvó. It was the mercies of God. It's what Jesus did on the cross. Amen. It's because he died on the cross and rose from the dead. Hallelujah. That we have eternal life. Amen. Praise God. That was his mercy. That was the mercies of, of Christ. What Jesus was doing on his way to Calvary and, and, the, and, and allowing them to pierce the nails on his, on his hands and on his feet was mercy. Amen. It was Jesus Christ expressing his love and mercy and grace for the, for the fallen mankind. He died for his church. He died for all humanity. That was God's mercy. It's what saved us. Es la misericordia de Jesucristo que nos salvó, hermanos. Que no crees, hermanos, que era la misericordia y el amor de Cristo cuando estaba este, caminando y cargando la cruz al Calvario y cuando estaba este, dejándose este, poner los clavos en sus manos y en sus pies. Todo eso era la misericordia de Dios. Amen. Esa es la misericordia de Jesucristo. Amen. You don't you see that he is worthy to be praised. Right? We're talking about worthiness to praise the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Because of his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 through 9 tells us, For by grace are you saved through faith. Amen. Let me say this again. For by grace are you saved through faith. Is that not of yourselves? You can't save yourself. Me, your pastor, can save you, but I can lead you to the cross and let the work of God do his thing. Amen. Praise God. It says, for by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves, not of your own efforts, not of your own good deeds. It is a gift of God. Es un don de Dios. 
Por tu fuera salvo, por la gracia, por medio de tu fe en Jesucristo. No es de tus, tú mismo, es un don, un don de Dios. It's a free gift that God offers the unbeliever, the repentant. Are you willing to take the free gift of God? Verse 9 says, not of works, lest any man should boast. Amen. We can't be boasting around. God is not going to allow us to be boasting around that we save ourselves. Amen. It says, not of works, lest any man should boast. You see, there's nothing you can do. Why? Because it's already been done at Calvary. Jesus Christ already went through it. When Jesus cried out and said, it is finished. Hallelujah. No hay nada que nosotros podemos hacer, hermanos. ¿Por qué? Porque Dios ya lo cumplió en el Calvario. Cuando Él dijo, ya se ha terminado. It is finished. We don't have to finish it. Oh, thank God. We serve a God that can that be, that starts and ends. He is the beginning and he is the end. Amen. He says the word and he will have the last word. Amen. His, the heaven and earth may pass away, but his word will never pass away. Will never pass away. So he said it is finished. I have done my thing. I have done what I came to do. I have came to offer my mercies. Amen. To the people that choose to accept me as their Lord and Savior of their lives. It is finished. See, Jesus meant that he meant he had met the demands that a holy and righteous God had placed on sin. But I believe that there are those today that are holding on to what they have done. And if that is the case, brothers and sisters, one day they are going to have a rude awakening. Amen? Listen, we're living in the last days. Amen? How many of you realize that? We are living in the last days. Escúchame. Saben que estamos viviendo en los últimos días. Yes, it's evident. You don't even have to believe it to see that. There's unbelievers, there's atheists that notice something's not, something. The world is going awry. Morals are disappearing. Things seem to be getting worse. That's what a lot of people say. Evil is rampant. Right? So you see, other people can see that. They don't know why. We know. We know one day Christ will come. We know one day Christ will defeat the enemy and cast them to hell. We know one day he will rule as king in this world. Hallelujah. We know, but they don't. Amen. And I don't believe it is going to be much any longer. If there's one thing that I would want to be certain of, is that my name is recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Lo más importante para mí, hermanos, es que mi nombre está escrito en el, en el libro de la vida. Amen. Pase lo que pase. El mundo se puede ir, pero lo que a mí me importa es que mi nombre está escrito. The world may end, but my, what, I'm, what I'm concerned about is that my name is written. That our names is written. Amen. Look at Revelation 21, verse 15. Mira Apocalipsis 21, 15. It says, And he talked, and he that talked with me had a, whole, had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. But not only that I'm saved, brothers and sisters, but also that I am baptized. No, 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 también, no, no, no también, hermanos, que estoy salvo, pero que también, que también soy bautizado. Número dos, bautizo. I want to see where I took that first step of obedience and got baptized. Amen. Now let me say this has nothing to do with your salvation. You are just showing in, or giving a testimony that you have trusted in the death burial in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ 
as your Lord and Savior of your life. It's an outward expression of an inward change. Es una expresión de un cambio de adentro para afuera, hermanos. Es una expresión externa del cambio que ha pasado en tu vida. Es una afirmación que lo que Cristo ha hecho en tu vida. Eso es lo que, la, es lo que el bautizo significa, hermanos. Amen. Praise God. We died to our sin and, we're, and we came out alive in Christ. Born again. That's when we, we must be born of the water and of the spirit. Amen. Baptism. Amen. Praise God. And I found that everyone in the Bible who got saved then got baptized. Right? Amen. Y yo encuentro en la Biblia, hermanos, que los que aceptaron a Cristo también fueron bautizados. You see, when the Lord gave the Great Commission in Matthew 28, verse 19, cuando Jesucristo dio la Gran Comisión en Mateo 28, 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them. Amen. Ve a todas las naciones, enseñando las naciones y bautizándolos. Amen. It was a commandment of God. Era un mandamiento de Dios. It's a commandment of God. Did you hear that, church? It's a commandment of God. Amen. Let me read it again. Listen carefully. What Jesus told all of us to do. Go ye therefore and teach the nations, baptizing them. Amen. You see, it's a commandment of God. I believe that if you are saved and never get baptized, then you are living a willful disobedience to the commandments of God. Amen. How many here have not get baptized yet? All right. It's good that you're being obedient, brother. You're being obedient. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Number three. Faithful. Número tres. Fidelidad. Ser fiel. Dios es fiel. God is faithful. Are we faithful? David prays in Psalms 12, verse 1. Help, Lord. David ora en Salmos 21, uh, capítulo 12, versículo 1. Auxilio. Ayúdame, Señor. For the godly man ceaseth. For the faithful fell from among the children of men. I believe the one thing that is lacking in our churches today is faithfulness. Amen. And I'm talking about the American church. Amen. I'm not worried about uh, uh, churches in other nations. I'm talking about the American church. We're supposed to be the beacon of light for all nations, brothers and sisters. Our, 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 our nation was founded on Christian principles. Our constitution, uh, the, the foundation was based on Christian principles. We're supposed to be the light that should not be hid on a basket. We're supposed to be the salt and light of the world. We are America, for God's sake. Right? 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2 tells us, Moreover, it is required in stewards, talking about stewardship, that a man be found faithful. Amen. Primer Corintios 4.12 habla de la fidelidad. Dice que es, es, es un requisito para los para el buen mayordomía, ¿verdad? De, el, el buen manejo de, de la vida cristiana, ¿verdad? Que un hombre sea encontrado fiel that a man be found faithful. Of course, here it says the word man, but here in context, in modern context, it's talking about human being, Christian, a man or woman of God, that they be found faithful. Amen? Today, Christians are a hit and miss or a hot and or cold. What I'm saying, what I'm, I'm about to tell you today, it might offend some people. It might offend some people on Facebook. But if there's no offense, there won't be no uh, repentance and forgiveness. We are living in a Laodicean church age, the American church. 
But listen to me, brothers and sisters. God is keeping record. Amen. Y yo estoy hablando de la, de la iglesia americana, hermanos. Los cristianos de hoy es un, es un sí o no. Es un frío o caliente. Amen. We, estamos viviendo en, un, en, una, en una era de, de, de la odesía, de la iglesia de la odesía. Una iglesia que es tibio, a church that is lukewarm. Amen. A church that is lukewarm. You see, that's the reality, brothers and sisters. Jesus said that he will vomit us out if we are lukewarm. Jesús dijo que, que iba a vomitar la iglesia que es tibia, hermanos. I don't want to be spit, vomited out. I don't want to be rejected of God. It's a scary thing. It's a scary thing. Amen. How's your record? ¿Cómo es tu registro? Is saved on it? Is baptized on it? Is faithful on it? Is separated on it? Number three, separated. ¿Cómo está tu registro, hermanos? Es, dice, salvo? Dirá que es bautizado? Dirá que eres fiel? O dirá que, es, que eres separado para el servicio con Dios? Amen? Number four, separated. Ahora estamos hablando del número cuatro, separado. Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians 6. Pablo los dice en 2 Corintios capítulo 6, versículo 17. A versículo 7, versículo 1. Tells us in chapter 6, verse 17 through chapter 7, verse 1. Wherefore, come out from among them. Come out from among them. And be ye separate. We're supposed to be, we're, we're supposed to live in this world, but not be of this world. Nosotros tenemos que vivir en esta, en esta tierra, pero no ser de la tierra. No ser del mundo, hermanos. Tenemos que ser separados. Remember this morning we uh, talked about that we're supposed to be uh, holy people. We're supposed to be peculiar. We're supposed to be different, right? People are supposed to see Christ in us. We're supposed to be the image of Christ. Amen? Be ye separate, saith the Lord. Right? And touch not this unclean thing. Don't let the, 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 the dirtiness of the world touch you. Don't touch the, the, the worldly things. Don't touch the things that can taint your relationship with God. Amen? And it says, and I will receive you. Right? And then I will receive you. Y después yo te voy a recibir. Si no tocas esta cosa sucia. Lo que el mundo ofrece. No andes tocando las cosas del mundo. Es sucio. No debes que dejar el mundo que te ensucia tu relación con Dios. Dice, no lo toques. Y yo te voy a recibir. Amen, amen. Yes, it is. And it says, and I will be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and daughters. Saith the Lord Almighty. Amen. Y yo voy a ser un, pa, un padre para ti. Y, tú va, y, 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 tú va, y ustedes van a ser mis hijos y hijas, dijo el, el Señor Todopoderoso. Amen. Having therefore these promises. Yes, there's promises. Dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit. Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Amen. Teniendo estas promesas, hermanos, queridos, a que, a que lavarnos cada uno de nosotros de, de, esta, de estas cosas sucias de, de la carne y del espíritu, perfeccionando la santidad en el temor al Señor. In the fear of the Lord. Amen. Great wisdom comes. 
in the fear of the Lord. Gran sabiduría viene en el temor al Señor. Amen. First Peter 1 verse 15 says, but as he which had called you is holy, this is where the holiness Pentecostal uh, tradition comes from. But many of these verses of holiness and sanctification. But as he which had called you is holy, who's holy? God. Who is holy? Jesus the Son. Who is holy? The Holy Ghost. ¿Quién es santo? Dios el Padre. Dios el Hijo Jesucristo. Dios el Espíritu Santo. God is, is holy. It says, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Como el Dios el que te llamó es santo, tú también seas santo en toda clase de tu vida, hermanos. En toda clase de conversación, en tus hechos, en tus palabras, en, en, el, en tu modo de ser. It says, all men are conversation. In other words, in every aspect of your life, what you say, what you do, your actions, how you treat others. Amen? It says, in all manner of conversation. Of course, this, the word here says conversation. It, it, could also, it, mean, it means all aspects of your life, not just your communication, your, the testimony you give others, the conversations you have with others. It's every aspect of your life, privately and publicly. Privadamente y públicamente también, hermanos. Amen. You must be the same Christian. You are private as you are in public. We should not have, we should not be double-minded. God warned us to be, not to be double-minded. No ser doblemente, hermanos. Dios este, este los advirtió de no, de no vivir una vida de este doble, una vida de doblemente. Amen. He told us not to be double-minded. Right? But to be single-minded, one Lord, one Spirit, right? One Christ, one Church, one Spirit. Para ser unidos, ¿verdad? Un Dios, un Espíritu, una Iglesia, right? Many today live like a Christian on Sunday, but live like the devil the rest of the week, right? Muchos cristianos, y esto va a ofender mucha gente. Mucha gente hoy vive como un cristiano en, el, en la iglesia, en el domingo, pero vive con el diablo el resto de la semana. Amen. My friends, God is keeping record. Hermanos, Dios está, está poniendo cuenta en el registro. Él sabe lo que estamos haciendo. He knows what we're doing. God is keeping record. Number five. Are we soul winners? Amen. Are we telling others about Jesus? Or what he has done and continues to do in your life? So that they may be changed. Amen. Número cinco. Somos ganadores de almas somos ganadores de almas are we so winners estamos teniendo la oportunidad o tomando la oportunidad de, de, de hablar de alguien más de Cristo en lo que Él ha hecho en nuestras vidas y continúa a hacer nuestras vidas you know I really believe that those of us are going through trials right addiction whatever it is I really believe that God will deliver Austin with God's help and he can be a testimony for someone else with the same struggle you see God can use that situation to bring someone else to Christ amen he has experienced it and by experience you can be a good testimony to others and to say you know what with God's help you can do this with God's help, you can beat this. Amen? He can be a witness. And I know he can, and with God's help, I know he will. Amen? 
Are you soul winners? Proverbs 11.30 says, Proverbios 11.30 dice, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. El fruto del justo es un árbol de vida. And he that winneth souls is wise. Y el que gana almas es este sabio. Amen. Soul winners, did you hear that church? Soul winners are wise. So be soul winners. Be a good testimony to others. Speak to them what Jesus is doing for you right now. Tell people the, how the hand of God has been in your life. Amen. How he, how he has healed you from cancer. How he has delivered you from, 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 from situations. Amen. Sister Mary Lou, you're a perfect witness. Amen. You can tell others of what God, what the hand of God has done over your life. You can testify to the truth. Brother Austin, you can be a testimony for God. Amen. As God is helping you, as you defeat what you're, defeat what you're going through, you can be a witness to others so they may defeat and lead them to Christ. Amen. You can be a minister. Minister to someone else that has gone through what you are going through. And you can tell, you can do this. If I can do this with God's help, you can do this as well. Serve this as an encouragement, brother. Take this as an encouragement. Amen? Be a soul winner. That's how you can be a soul winner. By life experience of what God, the hand of God has done over his life and will do. Keep the faith. Trust God. Don't give up. Do it for your own sake and your family. And you can be a witness for God. And you can lead someone else in your family to Christ. A cousin, a brother or sister, a son or a daughter. You can help. Any of us can. Often the greatest witnesses are those that have gone through difficulty that God had, the hand of God has helped them through. Amen? And I'm talking about the most difficult of things. God can use for beauty. Right? Can turn it around for, for His glory. Amen? Praise the Lord. You see, to be a soul winner, we first have got to be concerned. We have to be concerned over the souls of the lost. It seems that people today just aren't concerned about anyone but themselves. We live in a selfish society. Me, 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 me. All about me. And nothing about others. Right? We're a selfish society. En estos tiempos somos una sociedad este, que no más estamos pensando en nosotros mismos. No tenemos compasión por los, las almas perdidas. Amen? It should bother us, brothers and sisters, that people are dying and going to hell every day. Amen? That's why when I pray for my sister and my mom, I cry out to God. I cry out that one day and they will know Jesus as I do. I'm genuinely concerned over the soul of my mom and my sister. I want them to be saved. I want them to be delivered. I want them to know the Jesus that you and I know. That's what I want them to know. I want them to experience Jesus. I don't want them to go to hell. To be a soul winner, you have to have compassion. Para ser un ganador de, de almas tienes que tener compasión. Compasión. Yo quisiera, hermanos, que mi mamá y mi hermana supieran Jesús como yo lo conozco. Yo quiero que ellos sepan lo que Dios ha hecho en mi vida. 
Es lo que Dios puede hacer para ellos también. I want them to know what Christ can do for them. What Christ has done for me. And what Christ is doing for Austin. And what Christ has done for Mary Lou. What Christ has done for each and every one of us. That's the compassion that we have for the souls of others. Amen. Amen. That's why when I cry out for the souls of others, I cry out. I'm genuinely concerned with the souls of the people. I want them to know Jesus the way I know him. Amen. It has got to break our hearts to know that the person you are talking to may spend eternity in hell if you don't tell him or her about Jesus. Amen. Los tiene que quebrantar nuestro corazón de saber que la persona que tú estás hablando quizás puede llegar al infierno si no hablamos a ellos de Jesús, hermanos. Psalms 126, verse 5 and 6 tells us, Salmos 126, 5 a 6 nos dice, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. You see, it pays to pray for your lost loved ones. Sigan orando para sus seres queridos. Mira lo que, la, mira lo que dice y revela la palabra. Amen. Los que, los que siembran llantos van a recibir gozo. So vale la pena, hermanos, de orar para sus seres queridos que sus almas sean salvos. Lloren a Jesús. Lloren a Dios. Que Dios salve las almas de tus seres queridos. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. That God saves the souls of your loved ones. They are precious souls of God. What do you think he sent his only begotten son? Las almas es muy precioso para el Señor. ¿Por qué crees que él mandó su hijo unigénito? For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. He loves our souls. He loves mankind. And Jesus took all his love and mercy and grace to the cross and he died for us. He suffered. He was mocked. He was flogged. His body was unrecognizable. Just like the movie describes, it was a lot worse than that. The passion of the Christ, that hurt, that hurts, that breaks my heart every time I see it, brothers and sisters. But it was a lot worse than that. He was unrecognizable. He was mocked. He was flogged. He was humiliated for you and me. And he says, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed. Amen. Precious souls. Precious souls shall doubtless come again and with rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You see, one of the crowns that can be ours and yours is the crown of rejoicing or the soul winner's crown. Amen. Praise God. I believe that many will miss out because we aren't concerned or don't have enough compassion for the lost. That's why, brothers and sisters, I exhort you this morning, have concern and compassion for the lost. There are precious souls to God, so shall also be precious soul for you. Amen? Praise God. Number six. Numero seis. Does God record, record show that we El registro de Dios 
enseñará que nosotros hicimos lo posible para vivir una vida honrada, honesta, una vida cristiana? ¿Tendrá eso escrito en el registro? Que tú hiciste lo mejor que tú pudiste de vivir una vida cristiana. Does the record show that you have lived your best Christian life that you could with God's help? Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 says, Colossenses 3 23 dice, And whatsoever ye do, en lo, que, en lo que hagas, no importa lo que hagas, and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily. Amen? Do it heartily. Remember, God looks at the heart. He looks at your heart's effort, right? It says, do it heartily as to the Lord and unto men. Lo que hagas, hermanos, hazlo con todo tu corazón. Igual como lo haces al, al Señor Dios, hazlo a la gente también. Aren't we supposed to love the Lord with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, but, and also love our neighbor as ourselves? How can we say we love God and we don't, if we don't tell, and, and say that we love others if we don't tell them about Jesus Christ? Are you, are you lovers of other souls as God is? We should. We should be concerned. Amen. That means, brothers and sisters, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Hacer a tu prójimo como tú quieres que te hagan a ti, hermanos. The golden rule. That's in the Bible. Amen. Jesus spoke it. So whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Amen. What this also speaks is your devotion when it comes to devotion. Don't focus your total devotion on people. But to focus first your total devotion on God. And after that, everything else will follow suit. Amen. Amen. Many people focus on, on, on people and things, but they completely lose focus on God. And that's what here Apostle Paul is trying to warn us about. Right? Put treasure, put treasure the things of God. Obviously, we got to take care of our families, right? As husbands, as wives, right? As, fam as people that we have families. We're supposed to take care of our family, but how can you take care of your family if you don't take care of your relationship with God? Right? How can you lead your household if you, if, you, if you don't have a faithful relationship with God? How can you be a spiritual leader of your own household if you don't live righteously in the eyes of God? And so whatever you do, as the scripture says, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Amen? This means that do the best you can with what God has given you. All that God wants. Todo lo que Dios quiere es un esfuerzo. All that God wants is for us to do the best that we can. He wants to see effort. He wants to see desire in our heart. Amen. Amen. Out of the abundance of the heart comes what we say and do, our actions. Let it be a positive thing towards God. Amen. Focus your efforts on God and the rest will fall into place. And then God will help you in being that leader that God had called you to be for your family. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So again, How's your record? So, otra vez, ¿cómo está tu registro? You better work on it. Try your best. 
Make sure that your, your, your record in heaven says every single one of these the best you can. The best way you know how. And how else can you know how? Read the word. Read the scriptures. How else would you know to live the Christian life? The Bible. The New Testament. Right? That's how we know how to live the Christian life. Amen? Amen. Coming to church. Listening to the sermon. Listening because by faith coming by hearing. Hearing the word of the Lord. Right? Listening to the word of God. Taking and receiving what God has spoken to you and apply it in your life. Y después aplicar. No vamos a escuchar el sermón y la palabra de Dios, pero también ir a tu casa y aplicar, recibir y aplicar lo que has escuchado. Apply. Application. Right? Working on it. Don't give up. I know this life, the world offers so many tempting things. Believe me, I know. Because I'm pastor, I'm tempted even more. Believe it or not. I'm in charge over the souls of Christ. I'm in charge of your precious souls that I don't mislead you. I carry a heavy burden. And the enemy will attack me the most. And my family the most. So we must stand firm. Amen. Do our best. With God's help. Hacer lo mejor que podemos con la ayuda de Dios. Amen. Vivir la vida cristiana. Lo más fiel posible. Amen. The best possible way that we can. Effort. Amen. Everyone say. Effort. effort. Don't give up. No quites. Siga adelante. Perseverar. Persevere. Perseverance. Let that be your new motto. Motto. M-O-T-T-O. I think. Let that be your new motto. Right? Persevere. Hang in there. Don't give up. Run towards the mark of your high calling. Right? Which is Christ Jesus the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us please stand this morning. I would like to uh, open the, 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 the altar this morning. You could have read it at that esta mañana. I would like to open the altar of prayer to come to God's presence this morning. I would like to uh, to uh, to be in the presence of God and seek Him and seek Him and ask Him to help you to to make sure that you have a good record, a good report in heaven for God to help you amen yo quiero dar todos la oportunidad esta mañana hermanos que le, que le hagan una pregunta a Dios simple Dios ayúdame de tener un buen registro en tu libro God help me to have a good report in your book in your Lamb's book of life Lord, help me so my name can be written. All of our names. I would love to see all of our names here. Even that little one right there. A little one right there. My granddaughter. All of my children. My future daughter-in-law. Every one of us is here. All of you who are in Facebook Live. I would love for your name to be written in the Lance Book of Life. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are earnestly from our hearts seeking you right now, O oh God. Father, we need your help in this difficult task because the world is always throwing darts at us. The world is throwing fiery darts at us. O oh God, we ask that you help us put on the armor, the whole armor of God. So that when the enemy throws fiery darts at us, it will ricochet because of the shield that we have, because of the protection of God that we have. Father, help us 
Say no to the devil. Father, give us strength to rebuke the enemy so he may flee, so he may flee, so he may flee from my family. So that the so that when I'm, I'm when I'm with God, all I sense is the spirit of God. That way, all I sense is the presence of God. Father, we ask you, oh God. We cry out to you, oh Father. Do I have a good record in heaven? Father, I'm speaking of myself. Father, me as your shepherd, as shepherd of your flock, as an under shepherd of your people, as a servant of your people, oh God, do I have a good record in your land's book of life? Father, we ask for your help because we cannot turn to anyone else but you, oh God. So, Father, I seek you. To you, do we need your help, oh God. There's so many temptations coming from different angles in my life. There's certain things that are tempting me, Father. There's, there, there's demons and, and the spiritual realm, the demonic realms are rooting for me to fail. The devil wants us to lose. Father, Father, help us understand that you that, that you are right there with us along the way by our side, walking with us in that walk, hallelujah, in that struggle. In that struggle. Father, give us the strength. Father, you know our hearts. You know what our needs are. You know where in the areas that we are weak, oh God. But we know that when we are weak, when we are in a weakened, weakened state, we know that we become strong through Jesus Christ, the Lord, the name above all names. Because in the name above all names, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Oh God, yes, Jesus, you are my Lord. Yes, Jesus, you are Lord over the life of Austin. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord over Austin's life. Jesus is Lord and has authority over every aspect of his life. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord over his family. Jesus is Lord over his wife. Jesus is Lord over his their daughter. Jesus is Lord over the McCoy family. Jesus is Lord over Opal's family. Amen. Jesus is Lord in this church. Jesus has authority in this church. Jesus has authority. Dios tiene autoridad en esta iglesia. Jesus has authority. And the devil does not. Hallelujah. Jesus has authority over to Austin's life, but the devil does not. You hear that, Austin? Jesus has authority over your life, but the devil does not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus has authority over the enemy. He is a defeated foe. He is a defeated foe. Amen. Austin, you are on the winner's side. The devil is a liar. You can do this. All things are possible with God. What seems impossible to us right now, all things are possible with God. 
Father, help us realize that. Help us live that. Help us to live that. That although it seems unsurmountable, all things are possible with you, God. The devil is alive. The devil is alive. And God is God. Dios es Dios. Servimos un Dios todo poderoso. We serve a God that is all powerful and almighty to deliver each and, of, each and every one of us from our difficult situation. God is mighty. God is mighty. Hallelujah. Dios es grandioso, hermanos. Hallelujah. God is mighty. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us give God a hand of praise. Amen. Let us give him glory. Let us worship him. Hallelujah. Let us worship. Va que alabar al Señor porque Dios es un Dios todo poderoso. Él es grande y poderoso. Él los libera de nuestras situaciones. Él los sanará de nuestras situaciones. Hallelujah. He is mighty to for us to praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We praise you. And we worship you this morning, Father. This church is so grateful to what you are doing in each of our lives, oh God. Hallelujah. Father, we are blessed beyond measure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you, are, you, get, you are our strength in our times of weakness, oh God. We thank you this morning. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are keeping record. You know what's going on in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you hold our lives in your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We praise you this morning. Hallelujah. I exalt the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We exalt the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless everyone. God be with you. Those on Facebook Live. God bless you. I hope today's message blessed you. I hope you receive the word from the Lord. I hope that you apply it in your lives. Amen. And I pray that you make Jesus Lord over your life. Amen. I pray that you make Jesus the authority over your life. Amen. I pray that you pray the prayer of asking God for it, to, to help you to have a good record in heaven. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Be, uh, see you next Sunday. My name is Chris, Pastor Juan Lopez Jr. at Church of God at Proxy. Good, goodbye.